With PSS SYNCAL, Siemens PTI offers a comprehensive high-end analysis software solution for all of your power system planning needs. The unbalanced power system model which it provides is suitable for high, medium, and low voltage grids. Trust in PSS SYNCAL for a complete range of modules covering the design, modeling, and analysis of electrical as well as pipe networks. In this demo, we will be presenting step-by-step -step how you can create, edit, and calculate electrical networks to familiarize you with PSS SYNCAL's numerous functions. In working with networks, the first step is creation. Click File, New, which opens a new dialog box where you can select the network type. In this example, we will select electrical for creating an electrical network, but PSS SYNCAL also supports water, gas, and heating cooling networks. Click the Next button to preset characteristics of the new network. In this dialog box, it is possible to select an existing XML file as the workspace for the new network. PSS SYNCAL will then use the settings for page size, scale, and inscription scope from this workspace. You can even determine the type of drawing used for the network and their unit and size. When finished, click the Finished button to generate the new network and prepare it for the graphics editor. When the new network is closed or saved, the user has to assign a name and storage location. Click File, Save to save the network. For a new network, this opens the dialog box Save As. You can choose the directory to store the network in as well as the name. This file is then saved as a .syn file. Now that we've created a file, it's time to create our network. In PSS SYNCAL, all network elements must be assigned to an electrical subnetwork. PSS SYNCAL creates the subnetwork with the network level. To create the network level, click Insert Network Level. Then click New to create a new network level and edit this new entry on the right-hand side of the dialog box. A new network level, medium voltage, with 20 kV rated voltage and operating voltage is now added. Click OK to display the network level in the network. Start creating a network by defining loads or bus bars. One way to insert network elements is through the sliding toolbox. Here, bus bars can be selected by clicking on the bus bar button. A bus bar can be drawn by left clicking and holding before clicking to create the second point. At this point, a data input form with the network data for this network element appears. Here, the network data can be edited. In this way, a second bus bar can also be drawn. A line can now be added to connect the bus bars. PSS SYNCAL starts highlighting the elements that can be connected to the line as the mouse cursor passes over them. Left click to start creating a line. Draw the line by holding the mouse button and using PSS SYNCAL's rubber banding function. After connecting a line, a dialog box appears where the network data of the line can be entered. Notice that PSS SYNCAL has automatically recognized the start and end nodes as well as the network level. An in feeder and a load can now be added to complete the simple network. Graphics characteristics such as color, fill patterns, line width, etc., and network data for an element can also be edited anytime later. To access the graphics editor, place the pointer over the desired element, click the right mouse button, and select Format to open the pop-up menu. To illustrate how this function works, the line color of the generator is changed from black to red and the line width changed from 1 to 3. Click OK to close the dialog box and PSS SYNCAL applies the setting to the network element.
To start calculations, click the desired calculation method in the Calculate menu. PSS SyncCal then displays a message box showing the calculation status. Click Cancel to stop calculations at any time. If there are no relevant areas in the simulation, PSS SyncCal displays the load flow results in the network diagram. To summarize, in this demo, we have seen the creation of a simple electrical network in PSS SyncCal. We've seen some of the numerous capabilities of the graphics editor and performed a load flow calculation. This has been a demonstration of the PSS SyncCal. If you're interested in further details, feel free to explore our website or contact us directly.